guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Kaylee, and I am so happy you are here today. As you can see by the title, I'm guessing you have clicked on this video so you can see the essentials that we picked up when we were bringing home our new puppies. So I have got my um, checklist here ready. I've got all the supplies of everything I've picked up and I don't want to miss anything. And I've also got my drink. So I just want to make a little disclaimer and say that some of the things that I've purchased here are by no means, you know, essentials, um, the more puppy luxuries and I was so excited when I knew I was bringing home my little girl Italian Greyhound um, that I did kind of go a little bit overboard but you know, hey ho, we work hard, why not spoil yourself a little bit and make the experience that much you know, more excitable. So, there is a few bits in here that are not essentials that you will not need if you're getting a puppy, but I thought I'd show them anyway. So, let me have a look at my checklist. First off, the most important thing, I'm gonna start off with your bedding. So I picked up this gorgeous little basket. This was from TK Maxx, it was an absolute steal. It was only 12.99, I think it was. Um, so I picked this up when I knew we were bringing Willow home. This was before we found out we were getting Coco. Um, but now, obviously, they have grown. They have outgrown this little bed. I do keep it around for them because they do like to jump in it sometimes by themselves. Um, but, yeah, you will need a pet bed. This is just a really nice plush one. I thought it looked quite calf, like calf kids to me with the florals. And I just thought it was super girly, super cute. So to go along with the bed, I also picked up blankets. You will need blankets and lots of blankets for your puppies. So I picked up this really cute little from B&M um, at the kids section, pink with like unicorns on and little ponies and flowers. It's this really nice plush fleece on one side and then it's almost like a sheep, sheepy fluffy um, on the inside. So it's reversible. They prefer to snuggle on this side um, and they like to get under there keeps them really nice and warm and it's a nice base for your blank for your bed as well so you know if you do happen to have any accidents you can just chuck that straight in the washing machine give it a wash dry it and pop it back in so i definitely recommend getting some really nice fluffy blankets and a really nice soft bed so next up to go with the bedding we picked up a crate now this guy is huge she's folded away at the minute in this pink bag um, and it is a pop-up crate it's a pink pop-up crate it's like a hexagon shape i'll insert a clip here somewhere around here we found actually now that this is a little bit too big for both the girls we were the girls were still having accidents in the crate they were going to bed in the basket and i had room for them to play in the food bowls and water bowls and I put a puppy pad down and they, was, they were toileting in there. So we decided to make the change. We went for, I got some advice. We went and got a crate that's a lot smaller that is just big enough for a bed. Hi Molly. My cat's just jumped in. Um, and we changed to that. We've literally just got a bed in there and luckily we have had no accidents in the crate since. So I do think this one was a little bit too big, but when we plan on going away or if I go to my mum's, my mum's looked after the dogs a couple of times while we have gone away for the weekend. This crate comes in amazing. So I just take this round to my mum's, it just pops up, wherever she wants to put it, they can put the bed in there. If she needs to lock them away to keep them safe, if she's got to nip out the house, she can do. Um, and like I say, at night time, she can lock them away. This is the first time we've ever crate trained. Molly! <laughs> this is the first time we've ever crate trained dogs. We didn't do it with the boys. So it was a massive, massive learning curve for us. Um, we also found for putting them to bed at night, especially Willow before Coco came, we got some, I haven't got them anymore, otherwise I'd show you, but I'll see if I can find a picture and insert it somewhere so you can see. A couple of little bunnies, and they're the beanie bunnies that you pop in the microwave for like 30 seconds, you warm them up. And I used to warm them up at night, pop them in her basket, pop her in a crate, cover up, and she would snuggle straight up to those. I think she thought it was like her, you know, one of her siblings. So that really, really helped with her settling into a crate. And then when Coco came along four weeks later, 
they settled together straight away. So yeah, so a high, I do recommend getting one of these pop-up ones if you are crate training. They do do them in smaller sizes. I have got a smaller one as well that we have used for traveling um, when we go camping with the boys. Um, but with having the two girls, I wanted to get a bigger one and it's great, it really is. We'll still use this lots and lots. So at the minute we're currently using a metal crate, it's just a standard metal crate and a black, um, it's like a destruction proof mattress for them and we have got a heat pad underneath, an electric heat pad which we turn on at night now. Like I say, this is a complete extra but the girls do get really, really cold. They have barely any fur as it is and they really appreciate from the extra warmth. So we do have that in there. I will insert a clip. The crate is too big for me to pick up and show you um, but I will insert a clip of what our crate looks like here. So that's our crates and the bedding guys. Next up on my list we have, let's talk about food. Okay so as are weaned on um, dry food, they came with some food from the breeder and I generally did like a 50 feet 50 mix and then a 40 60 30 70 you get my drift mixed in what I wanted to feed them on and they currently are on Harrington's from pets at home and they love it now they cannot eat chicken or duck definitely gives them tummy ache and a really 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 upset tummy so we moved them over to lamb or fish we've had no issues once it's the same brand, it's just a different flavour and the lamb and fish does not give them an upset tummy. That has been amazing. We never had sensitive tummy issues with the boys at all either. They just seemed to eat anything, they were fine. But the girls, it has taken a while for us to find the food that works well for them. So it's really, really small kibble and I just pop it into a slow feeder bowl, which is another thing you're gonna need, a bowl. Now again, like I say, you don't have to buy slow feeders. These are from Amazon, I have two, one for Willow, one for Coco. Um, they're brilliant. The girls absolutely snap all their food. They demolish it so fast. I've never known dogs to just, they, they just inhale it. They sniff it up. I, I, I swear they don't even chew their food. It's absolutely bonkers. So I wanted them to digest their food properly and take that a little bit longer. Um, so again, I did a bit of research and slow feeders were recommended. They're also good to stimulate the brain, so it's a really good brain activity too, because um, they have to figure out how to get the food out, makes them work for it. Um, so it's really, really good, like a curriculum. Um, yeah, it, they're really good. So this has just got like little bones and it's like a salmon color. It's got loads of chew marks on it because they pick it up and walk around and drop it at my feet and be like, mum, can you feed me again, please? Um, but this was amazing. These were, um, I think I paid about $7.99 each from Amazon, but I will leave the link down below from where I purchased them from. But these guys, I kid you not, you can buy these on Sheen. I know you're gonna have to wait maybe a couple of weeks, depending on where you're based or located in the world. We're in the UK um, and you might have to wait a couple of weeks, but they're about $4.99, maybe even cheaper, $3.29, something crazy. And you can use your discount codes. They've always got discount codes and free shipping on on Sheen as well. So if you are thinking about getting a slow feeder, definitely check out Sheen first because they've got loads. Right, next up are um, treats and teethers. So first of all, I picked up a Kong. This is just a puppy Kong. I haven't got the wrappers anymore because obviously, you know, I'm doing this a couple of months down the line now. But yeah, so they've got, I picked up two of these pink Kongs. The boys have got red ones. And the, this was from Pets at Home. You can get them on eBay, Amazon, um, Pets and Friends. I'm trying to think of all the pet stores. Uh, I think you might be able to get them from B&M as well. But yeah, most UK pet stores will sell these. But if not, look online, you'll be able to pick them up online. So what these are the this small dog. They do different sizes. This is the small dog. Go with this. I picked up the Kong Snacks. Um, these are from Pets at Home. I don't know, about $4.99 maybe, and then just little biscuits. Um, and what I do is I will fill this up with some of their kibble, pop a bit of peanut butter in, doggy peanut butter in the 
sort of seal up the hole and then I've just grabbed one of these biscuits and as you can see she's just popping it in the end I just pop it in the end and I give that to them for when we are you know if I'm going out and I need to keep them entertained um, they are soft and these are for the small dogs they do do bigger sizes as well but they absolutely love these and again we've not had any tummy issues with these either so that's our little Kong so I also picked up from Pets at Home again. Pets at Home is really local to me. I do find it a little bit more expensive to some other, um, like Pets and Friends, they're quite, I think they used to be Kennel Gate, but it, it's just down the road, it's local, you know, I can't be bothered to drive miles away. So I picked up this, I'm only showing you one of everything, but I have actually got two, because I had to go back and buy another one for Coco when she came back. It's the cutest little unicorn ever. And it's got these three holes and you pop in little teething spikes. You pop in like these biscuit teethers, they're, they're hard, um, but they're not super hard for puppies. So this is like the puppy size. And these are the dental treat spikes. Now, I think this is a, maybe a Pets at Home own brand um, by Nutri Nourish. I don't know if it's one of their home runs, but they have all these different, you can see the pictures of all the different um, styles of like teethers that they have. We just went for the unicorns and this is what they look like. I'll show you guys and I'll show you how they fit in. The girls love them, the boys love them too. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little prong with like a, a nub on the end. So you take your nub and you just push it into your, and look. And then your puppy, you give that to your dog, they gnaw down and chow down on this and it's meant to help clean their teeth. So there's spaces for three. There we go. They absolutely love it. And again, we've not had any tummy issues with these. And because Italian greyhounds are prone to dental um, issues, the you know um teethers and teeth cleaning products as long as they're low in calories and i sort of try and keep them within their their daily range of food um i'm hoping that it's going to help along with us trying to brush their teeth but yeah they really really love this i just give it to them they'll they'll chew down on that for it'll probably last them a couple of hours they'll go and take it into the crate if we're going out i'll give them one each and it keeps them entertained for a while while cleaning the teeth so yeah i definitely recommend getting these especially because they're teething as well at the moment they are wanting to chew everything we're lucky that they're not destroying the house but they just they really appreciate these for chewing down on so next up i'm going to show you the puppy's favorite treats now we are trying to train them we've been teaching them tricks we want to teach them how to sit and stay um we've also been teaching them recall you know, I'm, we're teaching them to ring the bells, to go out, to go potty. So, obviously, you need treats. And you can't just, I mean, we do feed them kibble because they are very, very food orientated, which is amazing for training. But we do like to give them some super yummy treats as well. So, they love these. Now, I've only ever found these in B&M. They're not too keen on the other flavour, but these ones are mini soft bake bites in peanut butter and it even says at the bottom perfect for puppies they are so soft the scooby snacks guys look at them they like the scooby snacks they are so soft and squishy so if they have got sore gums and the puppies and they've got little teeth or the teeth are coming in um they are so easy for them to chew and because of peanut butter they are like finger licking good i'm sure that's kfc actually but you get the drift they absolutely love these and I get through packs of these. At the minute, they're a pound, like one pound in B&M. So if you've got a puppy, guys, or you're wanting to, you know, get some cute little treats, something that's nice and tasty, yeah, go for these because I can guarantee you, your puppy or your dog will absolutely love these. By the way, this is not sponsored. Just thought I would share the love for the Scooby Snacks. Let me open the doors. So another treat that we also really, really like and I recommend if you can get hold of them or something very similar are these natural sweet potato and chicken wraps. 
Um, these are for dogs and they are premium quality by Doggy Delights. And they are just sweet potato wrapped in chicken. Now they are soft again, which is great because like I say, the puppies, the teething, um, even before they started to teeth, the puppy teeth are very soft. They struggle to get through anything that's too hard. Um, and these are soft, look, the bendy, soft and squishy. They absolutely love these. If you can get your hands on these, I definitely re recommend them. They also do, along with the sweet potato, I think I've seen butternut squash ones as well. Might have done, maybe not. Um, I'm sure I have seen butternut squash. But yeah, definitely, if you can pick some of these up, yeah, really, really nice. I'm sure your puppy will love those too. And last but not least on the topic of food and treats and food bowls is milk for puppies. Again, I know this is probably something extra. Um, they love it. And I give this to them when, just at bedtime, I pop a little bit in a bowl, warm it up for them so it's nice and warm. I you can tell I'm a mum of three. I mean, if you send your kids to bed without warm milk, I wouldn't be a right, a right puppy mum, would I, if I wasn't sending my puppies to bed without warm milk. Um, but it's just got added vitamins in it as well. So it's got added vitamins of C and E, and it's made with highly digestible goat's milk. I just thought it's just going to help with the, you know, the calcium. It's got extra vitamins in while they are growing and they are puppies just giving those little extra supplements to their diet to make sure that they're getting absolutely everything they need. And maybe there's little bits that they're not picking up from their food. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend you can pick these up supermarkets, you know, your home stores, pet stores, anywhere. I've seen these for sale everywhere. And they're only, well, I think they're about 30p. So they're not that much either, guys. So I definitely recommend warming this up for your puppies to settle them at night. Um, but yeah, like I say, it's just one of those you don't have to if you don't want to. It's just a little extra I like to as part of our bedtime routine. When we're getting the dogs ready for bed at night, I really enjoy giving them this and they really enjoy it too. Next up, guys, I want to talk about grooming. So we picked up grooming supplies. I think this is something that you're definitely going to need as an essential for bringing home your puppies. We definitely needed them for hours. Um, when we picked the girls up... Um, they were a bit whiffy from the breeders and I think that's just they've never had a bath um, You know, they're around the mum and their other little mates and they were just a bit stinking I thought they don't really smell of my home. So I picked up because Hi girls. Come on now. I picked up um, because greyhounds or iggies are prone to dry skin They can have dry skin issues and it's just because they are so such short coated. I mean, she's barely got any fur. There's nothing there. She's made like there's. It's just so thin. Hi, darling. Oh, she's like taking over. What are you doing, babes? What are you doing? You want to say hi? She's like mum with all the stuff on the table. Go on, down you go. They are quite prone to dry skin, so I picked up for Willow because she did have a bit of dry skin when I first brought her home. Um, I picked up from Amazon this Bugalugs. Oh my god, guys, this is incredible. We haven't even used that much, and they've been bathed a good few times, and we even use this on the boys as well. So this is the Bugalugs Oatmeal Shampoo with Coconut and Lime Fragrance. It smells amazing. It smells so good. And because it's got the oatmeal in, it even says here that it soothes my dry skin and itchy skin which is what I wanted, and it leaves the coat feeling so soft and so shiny. It's made in the UK, it's tested by humans, not on animals, which is great. Um, and it also says it's a concentrated formula, so you get up to 20% more washes. It contains um, oatmeal, aloe vera, essential oils, pH balanced and paraben free, which is exactly what I wanted to be putting on my baby puppies coats. I didn't want anything that was you know, got loads of chemicals in, it's just all natural. I love it, I absolutely love it. This is amazing, this was an amazing find. Since I found this on Amazon, I have actually been on their website. They've got a website and had a look and they sell some amazing stuff. They even sell like dog clothes. I'm like, wow, love it. To go along with that, I picked up as well at the same time from Bug Lugs, this nose and pore balm. And this is oatmeal as well. Um, so and it's ve yeah, oh yeah, it's vegan. Made in the UK. UK. I wonder if this is vegan as well. I'm guessing it is. 
Oh yeah, it's vegan. These are vegan. I'm not vegan, but I like vegan products. Um, oh my God. It smells incredible. It says it's it's a nose and pore balm, soothes and relieves dry cracked pores. Willow, when they were tiny, and Coco, they used to run under the footstool in the living room and under the chairs in the snug, and they'll keep catching the tops of their heads, and they'll get these little sparks out, and they'll go dry, flaky, like a little scab and drop off. I was rubbing this onto those little dry scabs just to keep them moisturised. Um, I didn't want them to get any like little bold patches, you know, like if they've lost their hair follicles because they've had a scab. So I was using this on there, and I've also used this on myself, guys. I've used this on my dry patches on my hands. It's incredible. It's really, really good, and a little bit goes so far. I definitely recommend that um, as a little luxury to keep your dog's paws nice and soft or your own hands. It's really, really nice. Okay, next, a baby brush random um they are when i say they are that short haired i mean they are that short haired and they don't really shed so they don't need a lot of grooming like they, they do shed but not that you would really notice that they shed so they are, they are classed as a hypoallergenic breed which is great so if you are allergic to dogs because these i'm not going to say they don't shed because you will find that odd little like splinter of hair but they don't leave like chest leaves fur everywhere so I picked up a grooming brush, a baby brush. This is just a newborn. It is so soft. It's natural hair fibers. And I just use that because they're, they're fur, they haven't got a lot. So it's basically skin. I didn't want anything that was going to scratch. So this is super soft. And this was great for just like getting them um, climatized to being groomed and touched. And they really enjoy a little brush with this. At the minute, they like to play with it because they're puppies. And they think, oh my God, what is that toy? But yeah, they do enjoy a good brushing. I also picked up a nail file. Willow is absolutely fine having her nails clipped. Coco is another story. We are trying to find tips and tricks on how to um, clip her nails. So if you have any ideas, please comment below. Let me know because we are at a loose end now trying to... I don't like restraining her, I don't like holding her down. One holds, one tries to clip, and her feet are going everywhere, and I'm scared her legs are gonna break or we're gonna hurt her. So I've sort of just, I'm trying, when she's asleep, I get, we're using baby nail clippers at the minute to just try and clip when I can. So this is an electric file. It's got like a safety nib on the end. It's got an entry there and, and an entry there, or you can take this off and just, use the whole thing so it's got different speeds you just twist it there it's really really quiet and you can adjust the speed by twisting it and that turns it off this I use on the boys and I use on Willow it is absolutely fantastic just make sure you're holding you sort of supporting the nail you know the little claw and then you do it that's fab so much easier and I feel like it's so much safer than using clippers we do have clippers as well here I just worry I worry even though it's got a little safety bar thing on the back so that you should be able to clip past if you can see um I just I don't enjoy using these at all I'm worried about making them bleed or clipping too short or if they if they pull and you're clipping and it's oh these scare me but you do need some form of nail accessory to clip their nails because they grow so fast and they are super sharp as puppies so either something like this or something like this whatever works for you but you're definitely going to need something like this for your puppies this one was from amazon i'll link it below it was a um luxury but we use it so it was worth it these you can pick up from any pet store um for a, you know pretty pretty cheap to be honest so yeah um have a look in your local pet store if you like nail clippers so another thing that we picked up that you are definitely going to need when you get your puppy i think you can see my thing in the background the girls are going crazy when you're bringing home either your new dog or your rehomed dog or your puppy um you are going to need walking accessories um a collar and an id tag so we are using these harnesses i don't like to walk the girls on a collar 
I don't like to walk the boys on a collar either. I am, um, I just don't enjoy it. I worry too much. I feel like these harnesses are a lot more secure because they wrap around the bodies and it's a lot harder for them to get out. So Italian greyhounds are notorious for escaping. They have really long slender necks and the shape of the head means that they can, if you've not got a properly fitted harness or collar, they can and out and be gone chasing that squirrel somewhere over there. So this harness I found has worked really well for us and this was from Pets and Friends. It was in the sale guys, I paid like four pound for it. It was an absolute bargain, I've got two. It's adjustable, this bit goes over the head so you would undo these here like that. This goes over the head, oh, I've stuck to my ring. This goes over the head, around the neck, and then that's this bit goes under the chest, around the rib cage, and clips into here. And it has got a one thing I do hate about these is the tiniest D ring. I mean, how are you supposed to clip your dog lead onto that? It's minuscule, it is really, really small. That that could do with being a lot bigger, so it's easier to catch when you know you're trying to catch them and clip them on quickly. So, anyway, this clips around the ribs it's expandable um like size adjustable on all angles and the neck bit and the chest piece as well so you can make the chest longer or shorter and it's got this easy grab handle which is fantastic so when they are you know we've been letting them off leash um and we're working on recall and then i'm trying to you know clip them back on they just want to run off again. They think I'm playing a game. It's great that I can hold on to this while I'm fiddling around with this minuscule little D-ring to clip their lead back on. But these are by Holty um, from Pets and Friends. They had a massive range of different leads, but these have worked really well for us because they're adjustable and we've managed to get some super small. They're getting ready for the next size up now, guys. So I will have to look at investing in a new harness soon. But yeah, these were... For us, works really, really well. I also picked up, oh my God, so this is like the good stuff. Um, a lead and the collar and all the matching accessories. Now I'm obsessed with like polka dot Dalmatian print, I absolutely love it. And I found this company online called Coco Pup. Oh, guys. The accessories are amazing and oh my god, so I splurged a little bit. They weren't cheap, um, but I've never had a little girl puppy before. Pink's my favourite colour, Dalmatian print's my favourite colour and I thought, do you know what, why the heck not? I'm doing it. So I picked up this gorgeous, look, spotted Dalmatian print lead and on the other side it's polka dots, pink and white. Oh, guys, I love it. It's got this gorgeous black um, Coco Pup London tag and then gorgeous black hardware. Absolutely love it. So I'll pick that up. Um, I'll leave a link for it below. Um, but it comes with this D-ring attached onto the um, lead and the handle is super soft. Now I think these are two meter leads so they are very, very long. Depends if you like using a longer lead. Um, but yeah, it's been great. So I also got the matching poop bag holder. <laughs> Guys, look at it. And I'm so extra. I even got pink poo bags. So it's just a little pink bag that dangles off the li little D-ring on your lead. You put your poo bags in. And I've also got... I'll show you. Butterfingers. I've also got inside some little treats as well. So when I'm out walking and I need to reward them for doing something good, I can just unzip it and pop in my treats. I mean, I suppose you could squeeze your keys in there as well if you wanted to. They are quite, they've got quite a lot of room in there, which is really nice. And again, it's got the Black Cocoa Pup branding on there. And then from another little company online, which is the same brand of accessories I have for the boys, it's called Poppy and Ted, um, and they sell these wicked, look at this, little, like, it reminds me of the old tea towel holders that you used to stick on the inside of your cupboard door and push your tea towels in, um, like in there to hold it. So basically that's all it is. It's just rubbery, like a star in the middle. It says popping tits around the edge. They do them in a variety of different colors. Obviously I had to have pink. Um, again, black hardware on there, if you can see it. 
And basically what you do is when you've got a full poop bag with your dog's waist in there, you tie it up and you push the, like the knot through there and off you go. And it's just hanging off the D-ring, off you go, hands free. You haven't got to hold your smelly, stinky poop bag. So it's just a great way to carry your dog's waist along with you without having to use your hands. Next up, we've got a collar. Oh my God, guys, it doesn't fit us still. It's still too big. It's a little bit too chunky, um, but I absolutely love it. It matches the lead. And it's, again, it's Coco Pop. It's the same print and it's got this cute little bow tie on. And they look so cute with them on, they're just too big. They're just, the necks are too skinny yet. So they'll grow into them eventually. At the minute they're still wearing kitten collars because that's all we can get that we'll find. And obviously it's got a little, um, I don't know if you can see that, ID tag. I won't show you the bag because it's got my details on but it's just got my phone number and it says I'm loved and I'm chipped on there. Um, so yeah, so Willow and Coco have both got these. These little tags with two pounds something from eBay. It's a perfect size for a puppy. They are really nice small little acrylic coins. That's just engraved inside it so it can't wash off. It's actually engraved in the plastic. Um, and they came so quick as well. So I'll leave the link for those on eBay um, in the description box below if you need to get your dog an ID tag. Right, next up, this is not an essential. This is just, <sighs> I love it. I love it, guys, I love it. It is a dog walking bag. Yeah, a dog walking bag. Again, it's from Coco Pub London. They are on Instagram as well, and it's not sponsored. I just absolutely love their products. Absolutely love their products. This little bag, it's amazing. It's got a zipper at the front for just popping in whatever you need to. And it's got a really big zip and opening at the top that I've just got at the minute some hand wipes in there. Because you never know when you're out walking a dog and your finger goes through the poo bag. Oh yes, you've got all that to look forward to. So it's just this gorgeous little bag. It's crossbody. It has the same, it, you can buy them with different colored um, straps. It's got interchangeable straps. Um, again, it's the same Dalmatian print, um, the pink Dalmatian print as their collars. And it also comes with this cute little treat pouch that just hangs off. So when you've got it on across your body like this, it just hangs on. And you can just easily um, pop in there, grab some treats at 70 at the moment if you need to. It's got a little poop bag dispenser on the side. So you pop your poop bags inside and you just pull out, rip, and pick up your waist. So yeah, that's a great little bag for when you are out walking without having to take your handbags out. Like I say, I, I normally keep sanitizer, wipes, um, my keys, my phone, you know, gloves, anything that I'm taking with me that I don't need to take my big handbag. I just need my essentials for leaving the house to walk the dogs. This was, um, yeah, definitely. This is definitely worth it. I've used it so much, especially with, when you're walking four dogs, like I have to, it's it's been a it's been a godsend. And I bought another one. This is from Poppy and Ted's, so the same as the other little um, company that's on Instagram, um, a little UK company. This is a bum bag from Poppy and Ted's. It's a like a cheetah print, and it just says Poppy and Ted's on the strap. It's adjustable and. It's a bum bag. Again, I just chuck my keys in, whichever. It all depends what I'm doing. If I need to be full on hands free um, and not have, sometimes having a bag swinging around, um, this. And to be fair, I use this every single day, this one. Um, for the school runs with the kids when I take the boys, this has been amazing. So I do highly recommend getting a bum bag, guys. That, the other bag's more of an extra, you know, I don't know if you're going out somewhere nice and you've got your dogs in the best wear or whatnot, but this is definitely any bum bag of any kind. It doesn't have to be this one. It doesn't have to be fancy. Pop on eBay or um, Amazon and just pick something up. I picked this one up in the sale. It was about $7.99 in the sale um, with a few extra little accessories. 
But yeah, um, definitely highly recommend having a bum bag. Chuck everything in there, off you go. It's round your waist, it's easy access. You are gonna need your hands free when you are running around and trying to train a puppy. Definitely need one of these when you are out walking. To go along with this, I also recommend a treat pouch. So this is a silicone treat pouch from Amazon. It was a pack of three, I'll link it down below. It's a little, um, it's like a, just a little magnetic clip. You can pop your hand in, lots of space. I clip that onto here, like that. I wear it like that. I've got my accessories in there and I've got treats on hand to reward the dogs. When I need them to come back or stay away from another dog or sit and stay or wait, you need to reward them. And that's what I carry my treats in because um, it is just poof, straight in. And it's so easy to get your hand in. You just like that, look. Look at that. So easy, straight in, look. And it opens up nice and wide as well. So I definitely recommend getting some form of treat. Pouch, pocket, um, I don't know what the class does, but yeah, you can hang that on your jeans. I just hang it on my bum bag, clip it on and off I go. Definitely, definitely worth having for sure. And next up, which is last but not least, and again, this is an extra, Puppy clothes or dog clothes. My girls get so, so cold, as I've said before. They don't have a lot of fur. And at the minute, we're in the middle of winter. And to be fair, we're having quite a mild winter. But they get cold and they like to be super warm. So I picked up just little jumpers. These have all been worn um, and very well loved. This was from Sheen. They have the most amazing dog range of clothes that is super cheap. Um, I'm actually waiting for a delivery to come in so when it comes I will do an unboxing um, so we've just got just these are just as a selected few of what they've got just little puppy items this is like a little vest um, it's fluffy it's got poppers underneath and it's like fur lined on the inside as well so it keeps them super warm I'll also pop this on under um, their coats when we go out walking when it is really really cold to keep them extra warm um, what else do we need for our puppies? Toys. So here's a select few of their favourite toys that we have bought them. Um, they absolutely love these sausages. They are squeaky and they like to pull and play tug of war. Um, they love these because they're soft. We've also got some teething chews which they don't really enjoy any other ones and especially rubber toys but this one, I don't know why, it's really hard. I think it's the spikes on it. They really, really like this one. And I think it is especially because they have been teething as well. We've also got a little rope balls. We've got loads of different toys and different textures because it's, it's good to give them different textures. It's good for them to discover new things, keeps them away from chewing different textures in your home, like your shoes and your furnishings and your skirting boards maybe. Make sure they've got plenty of toys to keep themselves occupied and make sure you're playing with them as well. Um, so yeah, so we've got these, this is like got a handle for like tug of war, they can be pulling one on each end, they love those. They've got, this has to be one of the favourites, it's a crinkly, a little milkshake, absolutely amazing. I can't remember where I got that from but that came with a burger, squeaky burger and the fries. Don't know where the burger is, that's long gone, lost somewhere but the fries they absolutely love. Um, the crinkly and the squeaky. And this one, so they these are their favourites. The, this has been washed more times um, and it's still really crinkly and lasted really well. Um, they love it. And last but not least, their ultimate favourite toy that was the best thing, best thing I ever bought. Mark was like, yeah, that's too big, you can't buy that. Oh yeah, they love it, is their Please and Apart. This is from Home Bargains, guys. Um, this is from Pets at Home, guys. They love it. These Velcro in. They've got a little Velcro patch at the back so they can easily get them out. They can't really get them back in, obviously. But they all squeak. So all the peas squeak. They've all got different pieces. But this is mega. It crinkles. It's long. They get in it. They drag it around. I have never known dogs to love a toy so much. They absolutely adore this. It was the best thing I picked up for them. I don't know if it was in the Christmas range at um, Pets at Home. I did buy it a few months ago now. They had some Brussels sprouts and things as well. 
they love it guys i think it's the crinkliness of it and because it is long they can tug a wall but oh my days they absolutely love it so i highly recommend if you have these in your pets at home get one guys your dog is gonna freak they are gonna love it so much and look at all the different faces they're so cute so that's it guys um this is pretty much everything i bought for my puppies um i know obviously we've had them a while now and i should have done this a few months ago when i actually bought them and did it as like a haul but these are i just been my nice one past so yeah guys so the girls have come up for a quick fuss um she's chewing on willow's ear nice coco so by all means you don't have to go out and spend an absolute fortune on collars and leads and bum bags and treats and food just pick up the essentials what you need make sure you've got a lead and a harness you can just go to any pet store pick up any one that you like they're doing a range of colors and fancy ones non-fancy ones so many different kinds but yeah this is what we picked up or this is what i picked up for my puppies and i just wanted to share some of the do you mind i just wanted to share the essentials of what you'll need um, when you're getting a puppy and what we picked up for our puppies so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have enjoyed seeing the girls take over this last part of the video coco come and say hi i don't know why are you sitting like that babes here look go forward say hi willow's like i'm getting next to my mom can you see her snuggling right up <laughs> say hi baby girls so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you did please thank you i love you too if you did please please hit that thumbs up give this video a great big whopping like so that i know you enjoy this kind of content i will continue to make this kind of content um and give the puppies a bit of love i mean come on they're so cute if you are new here please subscribe i would really appreciate it i really appreciate you guys clicking on watching my videos um and joining our little youtube family we've got lots of lots of content coming up for you guys puppy related dog related day in the lives just yeah you're gonna love it so show some love subscribe hit the notification bell and leave me a comment down below which was your favorite part of the haul or what you picked up for your puppies that is your favorite item so that being said guys have an amazing day and we will see you very soon in a brand new video bye guys